everybody. Welcome back to Women Carry Knives. On the table today, we're going to be taking a look at a sun cut knife. Before we begin, though, I'd love for you guys to hit that like button. It definitely helps out the channel. And if you are not a subscriber, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you here all the time. If you do do that, go ahead and hit that bell. It'll notify you anytime I drop a new video. All right, which sun cut is this? Well, this is the Botuga. And this has been a fun knife. Now, there are different variations of this. So this is going to be your black G10. There is also a natural G10, a green micarta, and a, I'm going to say it wrong, but it's the Quiborsha wood. So the G10s go for 5385. The micarta is $55.95, and the Kaborsha wood is $57.50. What are you going to get for that? Well, this is a very interesting looking knife. Um, this is going to be a D2 worn, kif, qu, worn cliff blade. Sorry about that. And you do have this nice stone wash. They do their stone wash really well. I do like the look of it. And it's also going to be a flat grind. I always call this one that kind of the beak look to it. I love that. As I said, on this one, your handles are going to be G10. Your liners are going to be stainless, uh, stainless steel as well as your clip. And your clip has really, I'm not going to say aggressive, but it has really good retention on it. So it doesn't feel as though it's going to come out of your pocket. It slides in really well. It is a deep carry. Um, it is also right or left hand, so it is ambidextrous, and it does have that lefty love for my lefties out there. Um, it does have kind of that ramp up to the edge there, so it's, a, depending on how I hold it, it was a little bit of a hot point, but for the most part, if I hold it at the right angle, I don't feel it at all. So, I think it's going to depend on what you're doing with it. Now, your liners, and I don't know if you can see that, if I can get that aimed right. Your liners are going to be milled out, which is going to help with your weight on this. Um, for its size, it's actually a very light knife, which is nice. Uh, because you do have your little fuller here, you are able to spidey flick it out, if you can get your finger in there. It is a button lock. Now, you do have the jimping on the back of your spine here. Okay, you also have some jimping on your flipper tab there. So this one, it's just, it's so quiet. I don't know if you can hear that. It's just a real nice, soft pop, if that's the way I want to explain it. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, sometimes we get these. I don't necessarily want to call it a finger toil area, but if you do have smaller hands, you are able to choke up on it. And with the jimping as high as it goes on the spine here, you're able to get way up on it. As you can see, I mean, it's almost, I'm almost halfway up on this knife, which is nice because it's giving me a lot of room to play with there. Holding it back, I still actually could grow another finger and have that on there too if I wanted to. So I do have the ability to have that room there. Um, button lock. Little bit sticky on the get-go as long as you get your button pressed right you are going to be okay yeah this has been a really good knife and it's been this one's been really fun to have um, I, I had said in another video that I'm really enjoying um, my button locks lately because I'm in, really enjoying the fidget factor to it all right let's do a comparison here so here it is next to the rat so you can see that it is definitely a larger knife the rat is what i consider to be a large knife and this is not that much shorter and then we'll just go down in size we'll take a look at it next to the bug out here so you can see it is you know just a tad smaller than the bug out and then to really compare it with something smaller we will look at it next to the baby banter. That's pretty small. Alrighty. Let's talk specs. The specs on this one. So your blade length here is going to be about two, or I'm sorry, three and a half inches. Your cutting edge is going to be just over three. It's, it's under three and a quarter, so we're going to call it 
one something, okay? Your blade, I'm sorry, your handle or your closed length is about four and a half inches right there. And then that's gonna give you an overall of just shy of eight inches. So that's a really good size knife. Now, I thought this knife was gonna be much heavier when I first got it, and it's actually not. I was surprised. This comes in at 3.69 ounces, so just over three and a half ounces. For those of you that do grams, it's 104.5. Um, however, even being a little bit larger and a little bit heavier, it does ride in the pocket very nicely. So you do actually have a little barrel here that you can put your lanyard on. So that's nice if those of you, for those of you that do choose to have the barrel. I think on these, if the liners were not milled out, um, it would be quite a bit heavier for its size. It's not a bad weight, if that makes any sense. Um, for a larger knife, you would think it might be a little bit heavier, but as I said, you know, that milling does help. Yeah, this has been a good one. Now, this one has been used in the kitchen because it's more, you know, just that straight cut, that straight line. So it has cut some um, salami and it's cut some cheese. We did a tactical banana. We have what's called um, pineapple guavas, and you cut the tops off of those and eat them. So we have used it on that. It has also done cardboard, paracord, um, some packages, and again, I mean, just as sharp as it was. So that is always really nice. I'll leave a link in the description to the website to this knife, and um, also to, I do have a discount code if you so choose to use. Um, any, I don't, any proceeds that I make off of that go back into the channel to purchase knives to review and to give away back to you guys, to the community because that's what we do here. It also is used to help with shipping. But yeah, this has been great. This has been really fun. It is a larger knife. Now, for me, in the pocket, this was a lot tougher because of the length. So when they start to get this large, a lot of times in ladies' pockets, they are um, very short. So this one was actually more comfortable for me to carry on my waistband or in my back pocket. Um, I also would just drop something like this in my purse or clip it to the side of my purse. That's not a problem. But being that the women's jeans pockets are so short, um, putting this also in my 501s that are men's jeans, that can be a little tough sometimes too because of the length. So if it's too long, when I sit down, it does hit my thigh because of the way, you know, where the pockets sit. So you bend. Um, Definitely for me, it was a waistband or a back pocket carry. Now, I have thrown that in yoga pants, um, and that fits in the side pocket just fine. You know, not, not very bothersome. But, yeah, so this has been a fun knife. I've enjoyed having it. It's been great to have that fidget factor with it, as I said. As the send cut comes, always perfectly centered, which I absolutely love. And for... Anywhere, depending on which version you get, from $53.85 to $57.50, this is a great budget-friendly knife. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down in the comments section. You know, I try to answer each and every one of you, or you at least get a heart from me. And thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, have a good one.